This is section 10.1, uh, 10.2, and um, dealing with conics, the conic sections, notes day one. Today we're going to focus on two shapes within conics. And by the way, conics are uh, subsections, like if I have a cone, you know what a cone is kind of shaped like. It's kind of like two ice cream cones that touch here at the middle. If I slice the cone in different ways, we end up with different shapes. If I slice the cone at a diagonal that is parallel to this, this edge of the cone right here, we create a shape called a parabola. And the parabola is a set of all points, equal distance, from a focus point and a directrix line. Now those are new words for us. Understand that a focus point is just a point on the graph. A directrix line is a line, either vertical or horizontal for the ones we're going to be doing. And if we were to measure every single point that was halfway in between the focus and the directrix or equal distance from the focus and the directrix, we would create a parabola. The equations of parabolas can either be vertical or horizontal. Now, vertical parabolas you know as quadratics. You've seen those before as quadratic equations. We are going to write them a little bit differently. These are vertical quadratics, and you'll notice it's x squared equals 4ay. So think about the quadratic formula for vertical, y equals x squared, right? So y equals x squared, it's a parabola, it opens up. We had our different points that we would come up, we would plot our points. But what if the formula is either in this form, x squared equals 4ay, or x minus h squared equals 4a times y minus k. This is a vertical parabola form. This first one has a vertex at 0, 0, okay? This second equation has a vertex at hk. hk is the vertex of the parabola. This does not have an hk, so the, the vertex is located at 0, 0. This parabola would have a vertex at hk. Horizontal parabolas, that's going to be x equals y squared. In other words, the y value is what's squared. And notice the difference. The only difference is the x's and the y's switch places. Because to be honest with you, horizontal and vertical parabolas are inverses of each other. So when we look at this, the focus and the directrix are a units away from the vertex. So in our equation right here, if we look at this right here, 4a, if we find the a value, we can determine how far away the vertex is from the focus and the directrix. And I'm going to show you how to do that with this first problem. So we have an equation, y squared equals 8 times x plus 2. This is a y squared parabola. All right, my vertex is at h, which is negative 2, k, which is at negative 2, 0. So at negative 2, 0, I have a vertex of my parabola. It tells me if A is positive, the parabola will open right. Well, this equation is y squared equals 4A. So 4A equals 8. A equals 2. 2 is a positive value. So this parabola is going to open to the right. And so where is the focal point? From the vertex, the focus and the directrix are both A units away from the vertex. So 2 to the right of my vertex is my focal point. And 2 to the left of my vertex is a directrix line. Do you notice how I made that a line? And do you see how the vertex is equal distance from the focus and the directrix? Where does my focus exist? It's 2 to the right of my vertex, and the directrix is 2 to the left. Well, 2 to the right of that is at 0, 0, and 2 to the left of that is when x equals negative 4. So how do I plot my other points? Well, if we could find some equal distance points, we could easily graph this. But another easy way to do it is start at the focal point. This distance, the entire length in between my parabola, has to be 8 units wide. That comes from this number right here. 
So half of it, one, two, three, four, up, and half of it, one, two, three, four, down. And now we can draw our parabola with the key points being the directrix, the focus, the vertex, and through the focus, this is called the lattice rectum, this line right here, through the focus, that length matches the 4a value right there. So let's do another one. This one is going to be x squared, okay? We've got x squared, so that's going to be a vertical parabola. My h is at negative 2, and my k value is at negative 5, because remember the formula is minus h and minus k, so we know that at negative 2, negative 5, we have a vertex. So negative 2, negative 5, we have a vertex. The a value is positive, so the parabola will open up or to the right. Since this one's vertical, it's going to open up. Where is the focus? Right here. Let's look at that. 12 is equal to 4a. So we divide a equals 3. So my focus is 3 units above that. The, ver the focus will be above. So 1, 2, 3 units above. And my focus is at negative 2, negative 2. Can you see mathematically how this is negative 5 up 3? Where is my directrix going to be? Well, it's going to be down 3 from that, so it's going to be at y equals negative 8. 3 below this, 6, 7, 8, and I'm going to draw my directrix right there. This is halfway in between. My through, and this is my focal point, this is my vertex, and this is my directrix. Looking at my parabola, if 12 is the width of my parabola through the focal point. Then I would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to the left. And I would draw my parabola like this. Okay, last one. Let's look at this one, how it's different. This problem is different because it is horizontal, because it's y squared. But look right here. You see the value right there? That's negative. And since a is negative, the parabola will open down or to the left. Since this is horizontal, my parabola is going to open to the left. The focal point will be to the right of the vertex. I'm sorry, it should be left. That's incorrect in your notes. It will be to the left of the vertex. and this was supposed to be above or to the right. So change that in your notes. The focus will be either below or to the left, whereas the, ver the directrix will be above or to the right. So our focus will be to the left of our vertex. And where was our vertex? Our vertex was at 0, negative 3. So 0, negative 3. My focus is going to be negative 4 equals 4a, so a equals negative 1. My focus will be 1 left, and my directrix will be 1 to the right. So my vertex is at 0, negative 3. It will open to the left. My focus will be at negative 1, negative 3. Do you see how that's one movement to the left? And my directrix will be at x equals 1. That's one movement to the right of the vertex. This is still 4 units long. I know that it's a negative 4, but when we look at that, that's still 4 units long. So we go to our focus, we put 2 above and 2 below, and we can now draw our parabola like so. So for this problem, we are going to look at information given, a focus and a directrix, and write an equation for the parabola. So let's take a look at the information that they gave us. They told me where my focus exists. So I'm just going to sketch that in. At 3, negative 2, I have a point that is the focal point of this graph. Now don't forget, our parabola has to 
curve around this graph somewhere. So that's not enough information to tell me which way this is going to work. But the directrix is at y equals 2. That means at y equals 2, I have a line that is pushing away from my parabola. The only way that my vertex can, I mean that my parabola can be pushed away from the directrix and wrap around the focus is to point downwards. So we know that we are looking at a vertical parabola. So halfway in between the directrix and the focus, we'll find our vertex. Well, this is two down and two up from this spot right there. So our vertex is located at 3, 0. We have our vertex located at 3, 0. That's our H and our K. Because this is vertical, we're going to use the vertical formula for parabolas, which is x minus h all squared equals 4ay. Now, we have the h, we have um, the reason, oh, I'm sorry, times y minus k. We have the h, we have the k, 3 and 0. We need the a value. So I'm going to come back over here and look. And I notice that the distance from the vertex to the focus is 2. And it's down. It's, this is going to be a downward pointing parabola. So that's negative 2. So that is my a value. Negative 2 is the a value. So now I'm just going to plug into the equation. I've got x minus h, which is 3, all squared, equals 4 times negative 2 times y minus 0. Now y minus 0 is just y. So we've got x minus 3, all squared, equals 4 times negative 2, which is negative 8, y. We have the equation for our parabola, a vertical parabola, just knowing the focus and the directrix. We don't need to multiply this out. This is a perfectly good form for parabola. It's x minus h, all squared, equals negative 4a times y minus k. All right. Now let's finish graphing it if you want to. I just wanted to review that real quick. I know that my lattice rectum is going to be 8 units long. I know it's going to be through the focal point parallel to the directrix. So I'm going to go 4 to the left and 4 to the right. And I'm just going to connect my three points. And there's my parabola. It's a vertical parabola pointing down because our a value was negative and we have an equation. Good luck with your homework.